I'm Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Yo, this is the same energy that keeps popping up, you guys. It's the same energy that's been coming up for like the past, excuse me, the past like I think week where energy of somebody is like getting ready to do something very impulsively. Either this person, you're going, you are going to hear from this person unexpectedly through phone call, text message, or this person is about to unexpectedly take a surprise visit wherever you are. Be careful when you're posting your location. I feel like somebody's trying to get away from a third party. This person here is nine times out of 10 in a commitment with somebody else. And the reason I say that is because the freedom card is out here. <laughs> the freedom card is out here with the double life. Okay. And the king of pentacles. And I'm going to tell you, I clarify these cards, but I'm just going to show you these first. Okay. So here goes that freedom and that double life, right? Um, they didn't come out together, but I'm going to show y'all because I clarified. And here goes that damn King of Pentacles. So maybe some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign or you could be an earth sign. We also have Aries, Aquarius energy and Virgo and Taurus energy and Scorpio energy out here too. So let's move on. Okay. So it's definitely giving somebody here is with somebody else there's a third party okay this person is either committed to somebody else or they're married because the double life energy is here the king of pentacles is usually the person who is in a relationship or something committed okay i'm just saying and especially with the surrounding energy that's exactly what this is it because elimination energy came out okay i'm eliminating anything or anyone that's coming between us i feel like this person is trying to find a way to get you with the freedom and searching energy and pop-up energy, but getting here and negotiator bargaining and begging. This person is really going through it, y'all. Okay, I just want you to know your person is going through it without you. Okay, it looks like you're not talking to this person right now. This person is searching, literally, let's talk about this. When I uh, clarified the freedom energy, guess what came out? The um, Hierophant came out crossing with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> the Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Hierophant came out crossing freedom, clarifying freedom. Somebody's trying to run off on the plug, sneak away, I feel like, so they could come give you some wand or some male or female, doesn't matter, okay? Apply and flip and switch the roles. You could be dealing with a female that's doing this to you. Ace of, Ace of Wands, yeah, this person just want to come, wants to come towards you to just want to pop. This is really giving booty call, like, hey, hey, big head, like, what, what's up, what's you, I'm, I'm not, not, it's me, I'm telling you, when I clarify the searching online, looking you up, this person is online, looking you up, look at what cl was clarifying this card, the hermit, I can't make this up, the hermit. This person is really trying to figure out how they can come towards you, what it is that they can say to you collective to convince you to give it up, okay? I'm just saying to give up whatever it is that you have and it's that wand, okay? It really is. Then the pop-up card, clarifying the pop-up card, look at this. Let me, let me show you what this is, what came out for that. The Fool in the Tower. Like I said, this person is about to unexpectedly pop up and show up at your workplace for some of you all, at your home for some of you all, or call you or text you and say, hey, I'm around the corner. Can we go hang out? Can we go do something? Can we? I really feel like this person is getting ready to come beg to, and travel towards you, collective, and beg you and say, I really want to be with you. I'm eliminating any and everything that's gotten away or I've gotten rid of that third party. And I, I, I really just feel like this person is blowing smoke. I really do. Because now here's the thing. Do they miss you? Yeah, they do. Obviously, right? We, we With clarifying the double life card, right? This person is one person with you and, and, and this person has a third party. There is somebody else with this third party. Okay, this person is very impulsive. This person makes impulsive. Like, this is all screaming impulsive. Ace of Wands, the Tower, the Fool, and the Knight of Swords. 
The Knight of Swords is clarifying double life. This person wants to rush in towards you, right? Clarifying that is this Nine of Swords. This person is getting ready to do something very impulsive because they can't take it anymore because they miss you and they want to see you. They want to have sex for you. They want to talk to you. They can't stop thinking about you with the Six of Cups. For some of y'all, this could be your soulmate, right? The Six of Cups is just like memories, nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this person is really impulsive. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, this person is very impulsive. They are doing over here thinking, how can I come towards the collective? Yeah. So let's pull some more energy. <laughs> show me how this King of Pentacles, uh oh, show me how this King of Pentacles is currently feeling about the collective, please. This is crazy. People are still out here doing this, y'all. Okay, so be, be be safe out there. Why is the king? What has the King of Pentacles feels about my collective? The Moon. Okay. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, they feel like you're single out here having a great time, the time of your life. They see you as somebody here who was looking good, feeling good, dressing good, having a great, just, just independent. Like they really do see you as this type of person. They have a lot of passion for you, but I still feel like this person only has passion for you because they're like still hiding that the fact that they're juggling something here. This person doesn't still does not know who they want. They don't know if they want you or they don't know if they want the other person. With the lovers, that's about a choice. Two of Pentacles is about juggling, undecided, weighing my options, doing what do I want to do? Um, they're back and forth, back and forth. The lovers constitutes definitely could be, like I said, a very strong soulmate. You know, I feel like there's a lot of emotion here, but I, with the moon being here, I feel like they're still hiding a lot of stuff, you know, or this person's afraid to make a decision to do whatever it is. I don't, you know, they're stressed the hell out. There, there's a, they feel a lot of passion when it comes to between the two of you guys, right? You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini here, like I said, or Virgo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, or a, a, an Aries. Okay. <laughs> this person, look at you. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. They're like, they know you walked away. You walked away from this person. Nine of Pentacles. Mm. For some of y'all, there's a King of Cups here. Look at this. This is the bottom of the deck. This person wants to reunite with you. On the bottom of that is the five of cups. <laughs> in regret. Missing you in their head. Can't sleep. This person cannot take it anymore. <coughs> they are really about to do something very impulsive. So show me what else here. Mm-hmm. Look, I can't make this up. This person said, I need to see you. I need collective. I need, they said they need to see you. Oh my goodness. I can't make this up. You deserve the best. Oh, so if you deserve the best, then what, what's this whole situation going on over here? What are they hiding? You deserve the best. And you know you deserve the best. Because hello, this is you, you being in this nine of pentacles energy. Walking away from stuff. Hello, minding your own business. I have trouble expressing myself. So this is somebody here who I feel like they're getting ready to express themselves when they pop up. This is somebody here who didn't, you might not be talking to very much. This is somebody here who, you know, yeah, who didn't show you or express to you how they really felt about you. And now this person is getting ready to pop back up and they want to express how they really feel. They hid their emotions and how they felt about you. I mean, for some of you all, they hid, hid their emotions about you because they're obviously with somebody else and they can't get away from this person. This person feels feels trapped in their situation. You you really collect to make this person feel very happy, whether you know it or not. Like, but again, they're still stuck and trapped somewhere else. You know what I mean? This person knows that you hurt them. You know, for some of you all, this person made you feel low, depressed, sad. This person made you cry. This person, this person really broke your heart. And this person knows that when this person tries to go to sleep at night, 
Look at this. This is crazy. Remember I told y'all earlier, they're this nine of swords energy. They're about to do something so impulsive because this person is losing sleep over you. Look at what came out. This person is losing sleep over you. I see you when I close my eyes. I connect with you at night. I'm telling you, this person cannot sleep. For some of y'all, this person might really low-key be like kind of shedding some tears. If this person is laying next to somebody, when this person rolls over, they're crying. And that person doesn't even know it. This person is in their feelings about you. Even if they're not crying. Like, this is crazy. What else we have here for the collective, please? Yeah, this person's watching you guys. For those of you, or for those, this person thinks the world of you. They see you as the nine of pentacles, right? When you, they cannot stop thinking about you. They think you're extremely sexy. They think about you all the time. They think you are like the most amazing human being and like they're so attracted to you. But you know, listen, for those of y'all looking for something real, looking for love, like this is, that's not enough. Passion is not enough. What you think of me is not enough, right? The collective wants something real. They want something um, loyal, you know what I'm saying? They, the, they, the collective doesn't have time to be third party. Third party would. Listen, this person wants to know how they lost you for good. It's looking like you walked away already. It's looking like you walked away already with this nine of pentacles and this eight of cups. Okay, this person's waiting on you. They're waiting on you. Show me more here for this situation. The star, they want to heal this Aquarius energy. Uh-oh, ten of cups just fell on the floor. It, oh, mm. in reverse. It fell on the floor in reverse. I'm not picking it up. They're not happy without you. I'm telling you, you make this person so flipping happy. The, the fact that they haven't seen you or talked to you, they are losing sleep. I feel like this person's losing weight, cr crying when nobody, secretly crying. Yeah, like I said, secretly crying. King of cups. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, there's some Scorpio energy with judgment. This person's sitting back thinking about their decisions. Let's look at this. They're drinking late at night for some of you all. This person can't sleep at night. You know what? At, at night, you know, this person's on the phone either talking to somebody about you or on the phone watching you on social media or watching you somewhere wherever you are if this person isn't watching you for some of y'all this person at night is stuck with their thoughts right they, they they're stuck with the memory and the thoughts right this is them being stuck in the memories and the thoughts drinking i feel like but they, they, they feel like if they can just reconcile with you and see you, that it's just like, oh, then, then that will make them so happy. But I, you know, don't see Eight of Pentacles. They want to work this out with you, but I feel like this person is not really willing to put it in the work, to be quite honest. But has this, has this person let go of the third party? Have they really let go of the third party? Okay, three of wands. Let's get more. How does this person really let go of the third party? Mm, two of cups. They might be making a choice. King of swords. Somebody may have been making a choice. Somebody might be making a choice. Okay. Wow, look at that. They might be making a They may be making a choice, you guys. Look at what came out. Three of wands and the two of cups. You could be dealing with a, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. You don't have to be. They might be making a choice. So some of this energy could be past energy. I don't know. This person's definitely up in their head. Now, you obviously, use your discernment. Trust, trust your judgment and your wisdom. You know what I'm saying? If this person pops up, you know, just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful. Yeah, this person's at a crossroads. This person is confused. They've been confused for a while and they're trying to follow their intuition here. Now, if you get confused, it's the spirit, spirit guys telling you trust and follow your intuition, okay? All right. Because I feel like the two of y'all might, yeah, there's fear, fear, hesitation. Look at this. Somebody's been afraid to make, a, this, make this decision for quite a while or this is going to be you. Somebody here has self-worth issues. 
confidence issues, self-esteem issues. But you know what? I feel like, Collective, this is also you knowing your value and knowing your worth. And you're sitting in the Nine of Pentacles energy. You know, you know your value and you know your worth. So this is definitely your person having issues with, um, yep. And as soon as I say that, masculine came out. Thank you, spirit. This masculine is a, has been afraid to make a decision and make a choice on, on, on doing something, letting some of the third party energy go. They've been afraid to travel this other road and take this other route out of fear. So now it's like this person is so stuck in this energy, they have no choice. Fertility energy. For some of y'all, this person is trying to manifest you back. They may even want to give you a baby. Be careful with that, okay? This Ace of, I'm just saying, I saw the sun card on the bottom of the deck with this Ace of Wands. Be careful with that. The Lovers is out here. The Two of Cups is out here. This person wants to have makeup sex with you. Show me more here. So be careful about that if that's, you know, not what you want. But I just feel like divine timing and receive. Be open to receive. Ah, uh, you know what? I feel like you guys have something else coming in. Yeah, you do. All right. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you this in a second. This person really wants to compromise with you. They're hoping that they they are going to bargain, plead, beg, negotiate, and do whatever they can to get you to listen to them or give them a chance. Um, okay. Now, this person is trying to just reach some sort of mutual understanding but i feel like for some of y'all you have something else coming in with divine timing receive and blessings energy here spirit is saying maybe be open-minded when this either or be open to receive because something here is getting ready to happen that you don't expect and it's going to be a blessing okay this could be new love, or for some of y'all, it might be just working it out with this person, whether you want to believe that or not. I don't know. You know, you 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 have, you can do whatever you want here, okay? Show me what else here is going on in this situation for the collective. What else does the collective need to know about this? Okay, let's see what we got. Somebody might be pregnant. Somebody may have gotten somebody pregnant here. An escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Listen, if this person comes towards you to travel towards you or, or they pop up, for some of y'all, this is energy of if you go somewhere with this person, y'all are having sex. Somebody may get pregnant. Be mindful of that. Be careful. Now, for some of y'all, this person is going to show back up and tell you they got somebody else, this third party pregnant. Okay. But I'm just saying, look at this energy. Pregnancy test, escape, hideaway. Somebody here might have a pregnancy scare. And then we have this energy of like, I don't want to hear. So for some of y'all, if this person comes back to tell you like, oh, I I got so-and-so pregnant or so-and-so is pregnant, you're going to be like, I don't give a damn who is pregnant. What, what, what does that got to do with me? Mm -hmm. What else here? There is something here spirit is telling you that you need to trust when it comes to this plan. I don't know why this spirit is saying trust like things are going to come out, turn out actually positive in this situation. Now, I don't know if that means it's going to turn out positive if you continue to walk away from this person or, or there's an opportunity for reconciliation. I feel like there's no opportunity for reconciliation here. Honestly, I haven't seen enough energy here from this person. They are reflecting with this Virgo energy. The, the Hermit energy did come out and it's reflecting energy is coming here. Um, coming out here for structure, solid foundation. So this is again energy of like somebody wanting to work on things with this eight of pentacles energy, right? I, this person is like stalking you and watching you and they're obsessively watching you and stalking you. You, you. I told you that at night, this person's up late at night. Like I said, either scrolling, searching, looking, What else here for the collective, please? I don't know. 
some of you guys, there goes some communication. This person's getting ready to travel towards you and communicate with you, you guys. I'm telling you, I am telling you, be, be aware of that. Look at that. There goes that Ace of Fire. The Ace of Wands is out here twice. If you do not want to get anybody pregnant or you don't want to be pregnant, somebody's sperm is swimming real strong. They like Michael Phelps. You just better be careful, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all are definitely going to be detached and cold towards this person. And rightfully so, because who got time for this? Who got time for this? Oh, what? Child services. Hold on. Set the record straight. There is something going on in this person's life right now. I don't know what this drama is about child services. Child neglect, child abuse, setting the record straight. Somebody's getting ready to come towards you and tell you about something that has to do with children. Why is child services here? What is this about? What is this about? Somebody could be putting, be, be, I just heard something to do with child support here. Hustling, focus, getting money. Somebody may have gotten somebody pregnant here or tried to trap somebody with a child somehow, some way. But the late night energy, thoughts of you keep me up late at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. That's that same energy that we just keep seeing, right? It just keeps popping out, keeps popping out. What else here for the collective? Yeah, this person's on the verge. They're getting ready to come towards you and confess something to you that you were not on it. You weren't, but you're going to be like, I don't care. When this person comes towards you to tell you whatever it is that they want to tell you, whether it's they got somebody pregnant or they're going through something or they've been placed on child support, you are going to be unbothered by this at all. You're going to be like, I don't know why you're telling me this. I don't care. Okay. This person has so much regret right now and remorse for what they did. They are super worried because I feel like this person was in their ego quite a bit when they were with you. They did a lot of projecting onto you. This rejection and re um, reflection and projection just came out in reverse with ego. This person was in their ego. They refused to see themselves. They refused to see who they were or how they showed up for you. Or that I feel like this person really didn't show up for you. I feel like this person... Was, it was all good when you were giving this person what it was, which was love, affection, attention, support, right? Whatever. And then you stopped giving and you walked away to focus on yourself. And so now this person is like really, really going through it. What we got on the bottom of the deck? Let's see. Yeah, you're not saying anything. It's no crickets, no action, no bad. You, you don't have anything to say, with this, say, with this, say to this person. Scarcity tactic. Whatever. I feel like when this person comes back towards you, you're not going to be, you're just, I feel like your ancestors or this person's ancestors or spirit guides are pushing this person to make a move towards you or they've been, they've been pushed to see some shit they didn't want to see or experience some shit. They went through some form of tower moment here because look at this energy, alchemy, ancestor guides. And we saw the judgment here with the tower and the fool and the hermit. This is somebody's spirit, guys. This is somebody's spirit, guys. Yeah. Show me what else here for the collective and this person. Yeah, commitment just came out in reverse and not for you. Somebody, there's a commitment here at the end. Either this person was, like I said, living a double life or there's somebody here who doesn't, is getting ready to let something else go. But, or they want to let this go and they haven't let it go because wasting time came out upright, stuck, no changes, limited. I feel like this person is stuck in a commitment. They're stuck in a commitment they can't get out of. They're trying to figure out how to get out of it. They know they're with the wrong person. Yeah, look at this shit. We got not for you. I just turned that card over. Didn't even know what it was. Hap happily, happiness hater. Somebody here is. This is drama. This is drama out. This is drama out. 
I don't even. Yeah, there's some hate ass energy. You're, but you know what? You're, you're, you are spiritually guided and protected. You have your spirit team protecting you from all of this stuff. So you don't even have to worry. But I'm telling you, you somebody here has been trying to spiritually attack you. For some of y'all, this could be a karmic. This is under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energy, spiritual warfare, needing to cleanse your energy. So make sure you're cleansing your energy from this shit. Hater. Mm -mm. So somebody's hating on you because this person is fantasizing about you. They So this person, this third party knows your person is up late at night in this energy. This person knows. Yeah, they know. Look at this. They know. They know this is your person's energy when they go to sleep. I mean, oh well, I don't know what you... Mm. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to the collective, please? I think about you all the time. <laughs> you make me feel loved. You see what I'm saying? This karma knows. You make me feel loved. What does this person want to say to the collective, please? not make this kind of stuff up i enjoy being with you i'm telling you they're with this other person at night they don't want to be with this other person this person is stuck but that's their fault that you know i have so many regrets i have so many regrets i'm not happy without you you see what i'm saying i'm not happy without you and not they're not Please listen to me. Like I said, they're hoping you're going to listen to you. You're going to listen to them, but you're going to be in this energy of like, oh, mm -mm, good. No, I don't think I want to do that. I'm watching you is on the bottom of the deck. Told you. And this is hard. This is hard. I told you. I mean, I don't know what else to say to y'all. Just be aware you are protected from this spiritual karmic hater whatever i love y'all <laughs> hit the like button okay you could be dealing with any sign but scorpio aries aquarius virgo taurus gemini cancer those are here everybody really is here but those were the major arcana so anywho i'll see you guys later subscribe to this channel